Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Shadil bin Shahjohan and my metric number is 01 DKA 18F1040. My supervisor name is Encik Wan Ahmad Faizal bin Abdullah. So my group will explain about our product which is Smart Safety Helmet. So you can see it's like table of content at the first content is introduction, second problem statement, third objective, fourth scope of the project, fifth methodology for chart, sixth gum chart and seven expected result. So I will explain all part about this at the second slide. So we'll move on to introduction. So my introduction is personal perspective equipment, PPE, is one of the safety equipment that is needed to wear and use like a safety helmet for each the worker when doing a work at the construction area. The most serious risk of physical injuries which can be as a result of the impact of falling object or collision with a fixed object at the workplace. Due to the nature of this work activity, it is not always possible to eliminate such a risk with a just appropriate organizational solution or collective protective equipment. In problem statement, my problem statement is the numbers of the injured workers at the construction area are increasing year by year because of falling object. Based on my research, among one of the factors the worker do not wear safety helmet and the helmet uh, does not have good function to prevent any incident at the cons construction site. So, in my objective, I took steps to reduce the accident around the head area on the construction site by creating an effective objective, which is to design safety helmet with a falling object detection. So, we decided to design a new one for our safety helmet to detect falling object from above by placing a technology sensor which is, is a ultra ultrasonic sensor so I will explain more about ultrasonic sensor at my scope study in our scope study is in a many industrial work environments safety helmet not used only in a construction sites but also in mining, power, and forestry. So the risk of head injuries to work to workers is ever present. But in my product, which is a safety helmet, focus on a construction site. Second, the main material used for this safety helmet for falling object detection is the sensor which is ultrasonic sensor so uh, I want to speak kembali ok saya akan jelaskan tentang uh, ultrasonic, ultrasonic sensor ini ultrasonic sensor adalah peranti elektronik yang mengukur jarak objek sasaran dengan mengeluarkan gelombang bunyi ultrasonic dan menukarkan bunyi yang ditunjukkan kepada isyarat elektrik Tambahan pula, gelombang ultrasonik bergerak lebih laju daripada kelajuan bunyi yang boleh didengar, iaitu bunyi yang dapat didengar oleh manusia. Sensor ultrasonik mempunyai dua komponen, utama iaitu pemancar. Pemancar ini dia punya fungsi memancarkan bunyi menggunakan uh, crystal piezoelectric dan kedua penerima iaitu menemui bunyi selepas ia pergi 
dan dari sasaran. So ini yang saya katakan saya akan terang pasal, uh, tentang ultrasonic sensor tadi. Ultrasonic sensor ini juga mempunyai banyak jenis dan mengikut harganya. Pertama, daripada segi kajian saya, harga lingkungan RM30 hingga ke RM50. Dia dapat mengisahkan objek yang jatuh daripada atas daripada 3 meter ke 5 meter untuk sampai kepada helmet. Kedua, dari segi, segi kajian saya, uh, harga uh, harga RM100 ke atas, dia dapat mengisahkan objek yang jatuh daripada atas 10 meter ke 15 meter. Jadi, untuk produk kami, kami memilih ultrasonik yang dapat mengesan objek yang lebih awal supaya pekerja dapat mengelak cepat. Jadi kami memang khusus untuk memilih uh, ultrasonik yang mempunyai harga yang mahal sedikit supaya dia dapat memberi kesan kepada produk kami. Okey, in our methodology flow chart my role is identify material second design planning so perkenalkan saya untuk cakap bahasa Melayu hmm, saya akan mengenal pasti bahan-bahan yang perlu uh, diguna untuk produk kami contoh pertama helmet uh, topik ledak yang perlu digunakan saya perlu cari perlu cari uh, topik ledak yang dan ini harga berpatutan kedua uh, ultrasonic sensor saya perlu cari ultrasonic sensor yang dapat berfungsi dengan baik untuk produk kami uh, ketiga Arduino uh, dan sebagainya untuk design planning design planning saya perlu uh, design contoh Uh, saya perlu menetapkan di mana uh, tempat yang sesuai untuk uh, meletakkan sensor supaya sensor dapat berfungsi dengan baik contoh uh, meletakkan sensor di bahagian uh, tengah tepi keleda uh, di bahagian tepi tepi keleda uh, di kanan tepi keleda saya perlu membuat keputusan dan juga uh, ahli komponen saya seterusnya Arduino, Arduino teknologi yang kami gunakan juga perlu diletakkan di bahagian mana? Uh, di bahagian tepi dan sebaliknya supaya teknologi-teknologi yang kami pakai ini dapat berfungsi dengan baik. So, uh, dengan cara peletakkan teknologi kami juga di bahagian helmet ini uh, supaya nampak kemas, uh, dapat menarik perhatian pelanggan untuk mencuba uh, produk kami iaitu Smart Safety Helmet ok, in our methodology gun chart so our product will start from week 1 so in week 1 we will discuss what we should to do to our product we we'll discuss and we'll uh, divide uh, for the respective roles my role and my group roles so second my role is identify material so identify material we start from week 1 until week 3 and design planning uh, we start from uh, week 2 until week 5 so I have a long duration to design my to design our product uh, what we should to uh, place any technology to our product okay in our expected result is the safety of the design on the helmet complies with the safety features of the worker by placing the sensor in the middle of the helmet so you can see the diagram they are placing the sensor at the middle of the helmet so what the benefit when we placing the 
sincere in the middle of the head neck. So, the efficiency of the sensor more wider to detect object from a various angle that fall from above. Furthermore, when sensor detect any falling object from above, and the alarm give a sound to the worker, and the worker can take a safe move by moving in another direction to avoid being hit by the object from above. I hope uh, when we when we use the sensor at the helmet, we can reduce accident at the construction site. My name is Muhammad Daniel Haikan bin Muhammad Jafar and my metric number is 01DKA1AF1042. Now we will move to our concept of first slide which is introduction. So basically, the current consumption of safety helmet in construction industry at Malaysia is the lack of technologies. So by applying appropriate technologies such as sensor and alarm in our project, which is smart safety helmet, the functions will improve than the current safety helmet that is used in construction at Malaysia. In order to reduce the number of injuries by the workers. Okay, now we shall move to the second content of our slide which is problem statement. So, the use of current safety helmet in construction industry nowadays will make the workers lack of confidence to do the job at high-rise construction site. It is because the current safety helmet is lack of technology. So, we will prove that our project will break the confidence of the workers. Alright, now I will tell you all about the objective of our final year project. The objective is to test the improvement helmet function with those of the previous helmet. Next, I will explain about scope of study of our project. Okay, in order to test the improvement of smart safety helmet, this, this helmet will be tested by falling an object from above. The object will be a ball and the ball will be fallen from a certain height such as 10 meters. So, the test that bear on the helmet is the way to prove the functional of helmet. Next, I will explain about the flow chart of our final year project. So, for the first activity which is start, and second activity which is identify material, and the third activity which is design planning, and the fourth which is construction of project. The construction of project is divided by two which are made according and install the Arduino. So, for the for the five activity, we will, we will combine, combine of components and prototype. And for the C activity, we will test the, the helmet of our project. So, at the A activity, we will check the functional of prototype. So, at the step of checking the functional of prototype, we will be, we'll be check the sensor and the alarm. It is function that can detect the object from above. And the last activity, which is end of our final year project. Now, we explain about our gun charts. There are 15 bits in our gun chart and there are 8 activities. So, for the first one is start. So, start we will do at the first week. And the second is identify material. Identify material will be taken about 3 weeks. 
and the third activity is disciplining. So the disciplining will be taken about four weeks. Next, construct of project. There are two activities in construct of project which are coding and installing the Arduino. The time will be taken about six weeks. And next, combination of components and prototype. They are will be taken about two weeks. And next, testing will be taken about three weeks. And next, checking the functional of prototype, which are three weeks. And the same of the testing. And and the final is end about our final year project. So lastly, I will tell you all about the expected result. So we hope the improvement that has made on smart safety helmet can be applied to all the workers at the construction. And last but not least, the main function is to reduce the number of injury workers at the construction. My name is Siti Nur Sabrina Binti Kairizan and my matrix number is 1048. I am from UKA4B. So today I'm going to explain about our project which is Smart Safety Helmet. So the table of content that we are going to explain is first the introduction, uh, problem statement, objective, uh, scope of the study, flow chart, gun chart, and last but not least, um, the expected result. First of all, the introduction. So my role is to make sure this safety helmet is works. So to make this done, a few tasks, a few tests must be done. Um, to, to make sure the workability of our project is obtained and there is no defect occur in this project. Next is the problem statement. So this is the problem statement. So as um, we, we used our senior previous project and we upgrade the project so the problem is there is lack of system for the users. So we by doing by upgrade the previous project, um, the worker has more confident to do the job at the high risk construction. So the the problem is first lack of system for lack of system for the users and the second is um, the workers has no confidence to for doing the job at high risk construction site because there is no um, system for the um, the helmet next is the objective so my objective is the number two, which is to upgrade the workability of the safety helmet. Next is the scope of the study. So my scope of the study is this part, which is to testing, testing of the improved safety helmet, safety helmet using a ball from a certain height so um, we use ball from a certain height and we throw a ball so um, to to identify or to test the sensor if the sensor detect any falling object from a certain height we use Arduino sensor and also we use an alarm uh, which is connected to the Arduino sensor. So when the Arduino sensor detect any falling object from a certain height, the alarm will produce a sound. So that's what we're gonna test, and that is my role to test. 
next is the methodology so my role is to testing our safety helmet like I say I'm gonna uh, like the scope of the study like I said we're gonna test the safety helmet and yeah we're gonna and we're gonna check uh, test this and this uh, my role and my this testing is my role and this is um, the presenter tree's role and for the gun chart my role is this testing so we're gonna do three weeks for the testing and if we fail we might have to extend more or yeah we need to extend more or do extra work for the this project with which is saf safety helmet so last but not least the expected result so um for the expected result i hope uh the coding that we use this is my part the coding that we use has no problem and the sensor can work really well and can detect any falling object from a certain height and as well as the alarm it can produce sound when the sensor detect any any movement from the top so yeah that is my point and my room thank you